our trust and saints and servants into our lives. Do bless the nation. Do bless the churches. Do bless the families. Do bless each one of us. We love you. We give you thanks, Father, for loving us so much. We thank you for choosing us. We thank you for appointing us to bear much fruit for your kingdom. We love you, Father. We love you, Jesus. We thank you for your presence in our lives. We bless your holy name. We re-surrender our lives in your presence. We are Holy Spirit of God. You are our teacher. You are our helper. Help us to know more about Jesus. Help us to grow from faith to faith, from grace to grace, from power to power. Thank you for increasing your love in our lives. In Jesus' name we agree and we pray. Shalom. Please be seated in the house of God. Where is our Pastor Paul? Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Everybody say after me. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Amen. Amen. Dear children of God, dear chosen saints and servants of God, you and I need to have a vision. Vision from the throne of grace. What is vision? What is vision? I'm not talking about the vision that in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all the flesh and every every flesh shall receive dreams, visions. Prophet Joel says, I'm not talking about that vision. I'm talking about the plan of God for your life. I'm talking about what God wants to do through your life. I'm talking about direction of God for your life and for the ministry. Praise be to Jesus. So here, what does the word of God say? We are saints and servants of God. Here, word of God says, the Greek word for vision is aptosia. A-P-T-A-S-I-A. Aptosia. Which means seeing supernatural. This is the Greek word for vision. Which means seeing supernatural. Seeing with the eyes of Lord. Another word for vision is Apolumi. A-P-O-L-L-U-M-I. A-P-O-L-L-U-M-I. Which means, this is the word for perish. Which means to lose or lost or perish. Where there is no vision, people perish, which means they are lost. They do not know where to go. They do not know where to go. They are lost. They are losing something that the Lord has planned in their life. Praise be to Jesus. That's the reason what of God says in the book of Proverbs chapter 29 verse 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. God wants you and I to flourish. God wants you and I to be more fruitful. So the Lord wants you and I to be fruitful in spiritual life, to be fruitful in all the aspects of our lives. Praise be to Jesus. Christ Jesus has done what he is supposed to do. Christ Jesus has done, the, has done the will of God. He fulfilled the will of Father Jehovah on the cross of Calvary. Christ Jesus finished the work, finished 
the will of God. That's the reason on the cross, Lord Jesus says, Yes, sir. Last word, second last word. It is finished. What did he say? It is finished on the cross. What does it mean? The power of Satan, the power of Satan on the cross is finished. Now it is the church's responsibility to take up the take up the job, the plan, and the will of God and the message of God to carry on till the second coming. Work of enemy, the power of enemy is finished on the cross of Calvary. First book of John, chapter 3, verse 8. First book of John, first letter of John, chapter 3, verse 8. Try Jesus, destroy the power of enemy on the cross of Calvary. Praise be to Jesus. Try Jesus gives us the life and the life in abundance. Now, it is the church's responsibility to have a vision. It is every individual's, every believer's responsibility to have a direction from the throne of grace. To have a plan of God for your life, for your future. This is a vision for your ministry, vision for your life, vision for your family, vision for your personal life. Vision for the local church. Vision for your life. Vision for your ministry. Vision for what God wants to do for you, to you, on the planet Earth. It is a vision for your ministry. Praise be to Jesus. What is vision? What is vision? A man without a vision is a man without a future. A man without a vision is a man without a future. You get into a public transport, you get into a bus, you get into a taxi, and uh, you keep quiet. Taxi driver asks you, where do you want to go? And you tell him, I do not know. Then what does taxi driver say? What happened to you? Then get out from my taxi. Yes or no? What is vision? A man without a vision is a man without a future. You get into any public transport and you stand and you keep quiet and you do not know where to go. It is a situation for a believer who does not have a vision. Vision is what you see with the help of the Holy Spirit. Vision is, vision is what you see with the help of the Holy Spirit. Spirit of the Lord helps you and I to see the will of God, to reveal the will of God for you and me. Vision is seeing the future, what God wants to do through you for His kingdom on this planet here. Vision is the art of seeing what is invisible to others. Vision is seeing the art of invisible. Seeing the invisible things. What is invisible to others? Where there is no vision, there is no hope. Vision gives us the hope, hope for the future. Ministry, for your ministry, for the church, for your family. Vision gives you the hope. If you can see future, you can have it with the help of the Holy Spirit. If you can see the vision, you can have it with the help of the Holy Spirit. But the question is, do you have a vision for your family? Do you have a vision for the church? Do you have a vision for your future? Do you have a vision for the ministry? Yes, yes. Do you have a vision on the piece of paper? Do you 
you have a vision on the piece of paper? Have you written the vision? Like this. Have you written the vision on the piece of paper? That is the question. If you can see future, you can have it. What is vision? Vision is described. Goals are simply the vision break down into smaller pieces that are measurable in time and space and steps. I'll read it again. Goals are simply the vision break down into smaller pieces that are measurable in time and space and steps. I'm saying again. Goals are simply the vision broken down into smaller pieces that are measurable in time and space and steps. Great leaders communicate a vision that captures the imagination and fires the heart. Let me say again. Great leaders communicate a vision that captures the imagination and fires the heart. Leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality. Leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality. I'm saying again. Leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality. You cannot borrow or copy somebody's, somebody's vision. You cannot carry somebody's vision you cannot copy somebody's vision how to receive vision from god how to receive vision from God? How to receive vision from God? Mm -hmm. To receive vision from the throne of grace we need the help of the Holy Spirit. We need to ask the Holy Spirit. Number one, we need the help of the Holy Spirit. Number two, burden for the perishing souls helps you to receive the vision. Number three, vision is birth in prayer. Three things we need to receive the vision. How to receive vision? Number one, Holy Spirit helps you to receive the direction from the throne of grace. Vision comes from the throne of grace. Vision comes from God. Vision is a plan of God. Vision is a will of God. Vision is a direction of God for your life, for your ministry. Vision comes to you. What you need to do for God on the earth. Vision is a Vision is a plan of God for your ministry, for the church, for your life. Vision comes to you and I through the help of the Holy Spirit. Number two, the burden helps you and I to receive the vision. Burden for the perishing souls. 
Number three, we shall be birthed through word of prayer. We should have to be clear. Vision doesn't give you confusion. Where there is a vision, there is a clear picture. Where there is a vision, there is a clear direction. Vision gives you direction. Vision helps you to stand firm in Christ Jesus. Vision makes you to stand. Vision makes you to go. Vision makes you to do the will of God with the help of the Holy Spirit. Vision gives you the mission. Vision gives you the provision. Vision gives you the direction. Vision gives you the plan of God for life. What does Habakkuk say about vision? Let me read. In the book of Habakkuk chapter 2. Spirit of the Lord is going to help you and I. 
He will help us to know the will of God. Spirit of the Lord is going to help you and I to know the vision for His kingdom. Vision for your ministry. Vision for the church. Every church should have a vision. Vision should be written on the piece of paper. That's what the word of God says in the book of Hebrews chapter 2 verse 2. Write down. What do you want to do in this year? What do you want to do in five years? What do you want to do in ten years? What do you want to do in your lifetime for the kingdom of God through your life for your ministry on this planet earth? What do you want to do? What does God want you to do for his kingdom? Write it down. Before you write it down, you need to get the vision. You need to get the plan of God. You need to get the direction from the throne of grace with the help of the Holy Spirit. I have a vision. We have a vision. We walk with the vision. Our team walks with the vision. The Apostolic Ministry's vision is same yesterday, today and forever. Till we live on this planet here, our vision is same. Praise be to Jesus. What of God says, write down. Write down. You need to write down the vision. Before 31st December, how many souls do you want to win for the kingdom of Lord Jesus? Do you have a plan? Tell me. Do you have a plan in one year? How many souls do you want to win for the kingdom of Lord Jesus? Do you have a plan? How many churches? We are churches. We are pastors in West Africa. How many churches do you want to plan for the kingdom of God? In this year, in next year, in coming five years, in coming ten years, in your lifetime, how many churches do you want to have? Do you have a plan? Do you have a direction? Do you have a plan from the throne of grace? Dear believers in the body of Christ, what do you want to do for the kingdom of Lord Jesus? You need to write down. You need to read it. Once in 21 days in a month. Once in a month. Once in 21 days. You need to read it out aloud. Your wife, your children, your husband and your children. Your congregation should know the vision of the church. Your congregation should know where you are going. Where the church is leading the people. Every church should have a written vision on the piece of paper. I have a written vision for family, for the church, dear saints and servants of God. My vision is clear to witness Christ in all nations. It has to be break down into smaller, smaller vision. Short term vision, long term vision. This is the long term vision for the life. Short term vision. This year, I want to baptize 700 people. Is it possible to baptize 700 people? Yes. All things are possible to those who believe in Christ Jesus. Yes. I wrote down what I want to do for the kingdom of God in this year before 31st of this month. Before 31st of this year. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. I want to reach nations. Gospel should be preached in 72 new countries in 2023. Amen. Gospel to 100,000 prisoners and feeding 10,000 orphans. In 2023, wow. I made the broader vision into shorter vision. I made a plan for this year. Every year I have a plan. Every year I have a plan. My monthly plan, my yearly plans should be according to the word of God. Should match to the permanent vision, the long term vision. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. Break it down. Give me chop piece of chop.
vision comes from God. This is the man. This is the life. Every day you will grow. You will grow every day. Vision takes you to higher level. Vision takes you from faith to faith. Vision takes you from grace to grace. Vision takes you from ground level to the second level. With the help of the Holy Spirit. If you receive the vision from the throne of grace, vision directs you. Where there is a vision, there is a direction. But the question is, do you have a vision? Have you written? If you haven't written, fast and pray tonight and tomorrow you should get. Man cannot give you the vision. Family, your loved ones will not give you the vision. Holy Spirit gives you the vision. Holy Spirit gives you the burden for the perishing souls. Son of man came into this world to seek and to save the lost. Gospel of Luke chapter 19 verse 10. Why did Christ Jesus come into this sinful world? To seek and to save the lost. Christ Jesus sacrificed his life on the cross of Calvary to fulfill the will of Father Jehovah. He submitted his life to the will of Father Jehovah. Christ Jesus has a vision. Praise be to Jesus. Lord Jesus loves you. I want you all to get the vision. Pray fast and ask the Holy Spirit to give you burden for the perishing souls. Holy Spirit helps you and not. His name is Helper. He helps us to fulfill the will of God. Holy Spirit helps you and I to receive the will of God, to receive the vision from the throne of grace. Shall we pray? Let us ask Holy Spirit. Dear Holy Spirit, prepare to say with me. Dear Holy Spirit, help me to know the will of Father for my family, for my future, for the ministry, for the church. Plan for this year. Plan for next year. Plan for five years. Plan for ten years. Plan for my life. Ministerial plan. Plan for the church. Help me to know the vision. Help me to know the will of God. Dear Holy Spirit, you are my helper. Increase the burden for the perishing souls. Help me to go to win souls for your kingdom. Help me to walk in the vision. Help me to stand for your kingdom. In spite of all the challenges in life. All the plans of Satan be broken in Jesus' name. Every day I will pray for the vision. Every day I will read the vision. Every day I will walk with the vision. I will not go out of the vision. I will walk with the vision. I will do the will of God with the help of the Holy Spirit. This is my decision. This is my commitment for the kingdom of God. I believe in the death of Jesus. I believe in the resurrection power of Jesus. I believe in soon coming of Jesus. Jesus is the Lord of my life. Jesus is the Lord of my future. I love you, Jesus. Help me to go, to grow from faith to faith, from grace to grace, from glory to glory. I love you, Jesus. 